Good morning. It's Tuesday, July the 21st, and this is The Drill. Thank you very much. I'm Ron, your host and the only true conservative in the United States today. This podcast is not about convincing your politician to do a better job, but to thwart the efforts of your neighbors and coworkers to shut you up or to convert you to socialism. The efforts to defeat socialism must recognize that culture informs politics and acts accordingly. My podcast is short, approximately five to ten minutes long, because shorter podcasts are easier to download and listen to. I've been listening to conservative talk radio since 1989. I've grown up in a socialist household, and I've learned the tricks of socialism. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. Today, what can a conservative do? Quote of the day, positive news, and Attorney General Ellison. All that when I come back. Thank you. What can a conservative do? Know how to think about Portland. Recently, the federal government sent law enforcement agents to Portland to exercise authority to meet their responsibility in securing federal property. In so doing, the federal agents made several arrests. Portland mal authorities responded by demanding that the agents leave Portland immediately, expressing fear about the dress, appearance, and tactics of the federal authorities. It is inarguable that the federal law enforcement agents were acting within their authority, so the Portland mayor and city council sought to change the subject, a frequent left-wing tactic. What uniforms the feds wore and what vehicles they used are irrelevant and immaterial. The only issue is whether the federal government acted properly, and it did. Do not be fooled. Next up, quote of the day. Thank you, thank you. The quote of the day comes from dailyscripture.net. Heavenly Father, you bless us with many relationships, and you invite us into the community of your sons and daughters who have been redeemed by your Son, Jesus Christ. Help me to love my neighbors with charity, kindness, compassion, and mercy, just as you have loved me. In all of my relationships, in all that I do and say, may I always seek to bring you honor and glory. Amen. Coming up, Good news. Thank you. From Fox News via Parler. Quote, GOP wins major election integrity lawsuit in Florida where Dems sought taxpayer-funded mail-in ballots. Unquote. Up next, Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison. Thank you. According to Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison, women who have just been sexually assaulted would prefer to talk to a social worker than law enforcement. The former DNC deputy chair and congressman shared his thoughts on a Zoom meeting about how rape victims feel after being attacked. Quote, if you're a woman who's been a victim of sexual assault and the assailant has run away, wouldn't you rather talk to somebody who is trained in helping you deal with what you're going through as opposed to someone whose main training is that they know how to use a firearm, right? Unquote. There is at least two problems with this statement. The first being that the AG is being materialistic by insisting that law enforcement is not part of criminal justice. Materialism is about... Uh, the only things that are real are, is that which you can touch and feel, that concepts and abstractions are not real. By insisting that the only problem with rape are the physical and psychological consequences and not the conceptual issues of ethics and justice, deciding what's right and wrong as well as deciding what people deserve from one another and from society are just as real as the people themselves. 
the second being that the AG incorrectly defined the term law enforcement. The essence of being a police officer is enforcement of the law, which contributes to our sense of justice. The AG has defined police officers as those who have been trained in the use of firearms. This is a misdefinition because security guards are also trained in the use of firearms. Military personnel are trained in the use of firearms. Civilians can be, and frequently are, trained in the use of firearms. Yet none of the above can be considered law enforcement. By misdefining the term law enforcement, A.G. Ellison can twist things to create the illusion that calling the police after an assault is an unreasonable thing to do. Do not be fooled. Back in a minute. Who is the true conservative? He is the person that has the courage of his convictions and is confident in what he knows. He is the person that understands that cultural conservatism is more important than political conservatism. He is not selfish but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He is patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He is open-minded asking why rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he is better than the socialist. He is a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you do not know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you are wasting your time. And that concludes another episode of The Drill. Be honest, be smart, be beautiful, and always ask yourself, what is real, how do I know, and what should I do about it? I'm Ron, and that's The Drill. (laughs) 